Hello, weird girls and weird boys. Um, back for a vinyl update. You know, vinyl. That new thing that's everything old is new again type deal. Um, this is a, my second video today. Something I haven't done in a while is make two videos in a row. So... I just made a review video before this one, so go back and check that out. Please and thank you. Got my uh, Edgar Allan Poe mug here. Uh, I mean, what's the difference between a mug and a coffee cup? Is it the same thing? Oh, I would think it is. That's good, though. No matter what you put it in, it's still, it's still good. Um, I got... A little bit of vinyl to show here. Uh, we went record shopping Saturday and to uh, Plaid Room Records in Loveland, Ohio, to their new location. And I found some stuff that, some cool stuff I wasn't aware of and some stuff that I've been looking for that I really didn't think I'd find at a record store, I mean. I knew I could order it online, or would have eventually been able to order it online, but uh, finding it in person is my preference. You know, then you don't have to pay shipping and handling. I mean, even if you have Prime, you still have to wait for it forever, uh, depending on where it's coming from, and hope, hoping it's not damaged or, you know, gets wet in the rain or whatever. Um, I knew my cat would eventually make it down here. Cole, I don't think you can get in that space there it's a little too tight for you you're a little too big for that he's trying to crawl underneath the um the i said mattress he's I started to say mattress he's trying to crawl crawl underneath the uh ottoman and he gave up and now he's looking for an alternate route anyway first thing i'm going to show here is this album i was looking at, uh, through the compilations uh and i didn't recognize this at all so i got on google and i typed in the name and was reading about it and it's like sounds pretty cool and one of the guys that worked there seen me looking at it and he come he he walked by and he said he said that's a really cool cover isn't it and i said yeah and the back cover is cool too uh, he said one of his friend one of their friends put that uh put the compilation together wow that's cool uh it's um, Wayfaring Strangers, Acid Nightmares is the name of it. And uh, it's a compilation of different bands. I'll let you look at that for a minute. I know it's, it looks darker in here when I'm recording it than it actually turns out. So I say that every time and then it turns out to be fine. Here's the back cover. Equally awesome. And then the the gatefold is pretty psychedelic black and white psychedelic black and white so that's cool it's a double album and uh he described this as sounding basically if the production on black sabbath wasn't as good as it is or was this is what these bands sound like i guess uh, there's the record. I'm not going to pull it out. There's the black vinyl. This has orange labels. Both of them are the same. Then it also came with this. If I can get a hold of it. This book. There's the cover of that. You don't see that every day. And um, it has this here on it. And I noticed quite a few of their records in their compilations had different numbers that was sort of stylized like that. So I don't know if that's a specific record label or if it's just how the record label numbers their albums. I mean, I'm it should be maybe obvious, but I'm, you know, I'm not hip to be square. Um, there's the, the hype sticker, which I'm sure that's just nothing there but a black square. I'm sorry, rectangle. But 
it has, and this has the bands in it. It has the, it's just got, I don't know if that's their record label or not. I'm assuming it probably is. So I listened to this record and, or these two records, and they're, they're really good. Uh, Kat was here and she caught the tail end of, I think, the second record or maybe, maybe three sides at least. And she liked it. She thought it was good too. So it was definitely a, a good price and it was uh, definitely worth picking up. I'll go ahead and... Actually, I can't read that. There's no track listing on the back. Let me just... I might have that out. I should have looked. Let's see if it gives an index here. I'll just read the hype sticker. That might be a little easier. I'm so uh, organized. Uh, Wayfaring Strangers, Acid Nightmares. As the hippie movement hurled towards its imminent demise... Bad vibes infiltrated the rock world, tainted LSD, loud motorcycles, and a series of brutal deaths spawned inspiration for guitar-wielding teenagers across the globe, uh, implementing deafening fuzz and satanic screams to create their proto-metal monstrosities. Short-lived stoner bands pressed their lysergic experiments in microscopic quantities before blacking out entirely. Lifting from the ashes of the acid rock hell fire are 18 distorted tales of dope fiends, pill poppers, and the baddest of trips. So there you go. That, I mean, if that ain't a good description, I don't know what is. So yeah, you might want to check that out if you get a chance. Because um, I, I didn't know how much money I was spending. I had to add up my my funds and everything because I didn't want to go over. And I didn't want to not get that record because where, I mean, it's potential that I could see it somewhere else. But you, you never want to take the chance sometimes. And I don't know if you can smell the incense I'm burning, but I'm burning Nag Champa and cannabis. Can you smell that out there at all? And then this this last record, because I only got only picked up three records that day. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's seven records all together because each one was more than just a single record, single album. This I have on CD. Uh, which I think I ordered on Amazon, and it's awesome. It's it's not what I expected in the sense that I knew what the music was going to be like, sort of, but I didn't know that it was going to be in a radio-type format. And the reason that I like that so much, not because I just like radio, of course. I don't mean radio, typical radio with commercials and annoying DJs and very repetitive music, not those kinds of records, or not those kind of radio stations, but the radio show format, I should say, um, based on a show that I listened to back in the 70s. Um, we lived in a trailer court back in the 70s, and uh, I had a, it was a, like an eight-track tape, AM FM radio and it folded together the speakers folded together and snapped where you can unfold them to listen to them and the 8 track went in the end of the one speaker um, and uh, it seems like from what I remember the um, uh, reception on the radio wasn't that great but one day I was flipping through the dial and uh Ran across this, I don't know what song it was exactly at the time, but it was the Dr. Demento show is what it was. And it it would fade in and out, but enough for me to listen to it. And I th must have uh, remembered when it was going to be on from that point on to listen to it, or maybe just 
happened to have the radio on every time it was on. I don't know which. And I don't even remember what station it was broadcasting from at the time. This was back in the 70s. Probably, I'd say maybe 77, 78, uh, maybe even 79. So anyway, uh, the Dr. Demento show was something that it's an acquired taste for a lot of people because... A lot of people like their music straightforward and, you know, they don't, they want, they don't want to laugh or, you know, listen to any novelty type thing. But there's those people like me that, you know, that's, that's what it caters to. And, um, I mean, Weird Al has had a number one album and won Grammys, so there's obviously an audience for it which is where Weird Al got his start on the Dr. Demento show. But anyway, this is what I got. Dr. Demento covered in punk on vinyl. Like I said, I had the CD, but I did not have the vinyl. And I had this on my list of things to get as far as to order. Uh, this is a three-record set. And... Uh, that's William Shatner there doing a parody of the Cramps, in case no one picked up on that. And this is their logo, which they also have on t-shirts like that I would like to get. And there's uh, Uncle Floyd, and then there's the Beat on the Brat illustration. And um, I'll read the hype sticker here. It says, three disc set, over two hours, and a 20-page book. All new punk covers of crazy comedy songs and newly demented versions of punk rock classics. New recordings by Weird Al Yankovic, The Misfits, William Shatner, Joan Jett, Adam Batman West, Fred Schneider from the B-52s, and many more. 64 tracks all together. And I love the artwork. It's great. Um, these are colored vinyl. Uh, it's not the, the splatter vinyl that I was wanting. But I'm not complaining at all because I never thought I'd have these at all, period. There's the green vinyl. It's got William Shatner on that side. And then it's just got the track listing on that side. So each one of these albums is a different color. Which I think is really awesome because I've only got a few records that they that it's a multiple set that are in different colors of vinyl which is probably just easier for them to go ahead and make them all the same color you know at the printing printing uh, shop the printing plant what I'm trying to say I'm trying to multitask and I've never been good at multitasking and then this is Disc two, and on this side you got Fish Heads illustration, which they also have that on the t-shirt, I think. And then the other side is track listing. Very awesome. Um, and I guess the album, the vinyl, I should say, if I can get that back in the sleeve, the vinyl, I guess, has... Um, material that is not on the CD. So I'm not sure exactly what that is because I haven't listened to the vinyl yet. But I just might be doing that after this video. And then the third disc, if I can maneuver it, maybe I should go this way. Having a Having a wardrobe malfunction. And the third disc is on yellow vinyl with the Beat on the Brat illustration. This is sort of like a yellowish green in person. And then there's the track listing. So I guess the other version of this has splatter vinyl and you can go to their website to see if that one's still available i think they have multiple 
um, variations as far as um, what they call those when they put the t-shirt and the CD and stuff together. Can't think of nothing. Anyway, there's the book that comes with it. There's uh, all the tracks there on the back. And let's see here. Here's the credits. I'm not going to show every one of these, but it has some really cool illustrations in here. They did a great job on this. Um, I guess Osaka pop star is responsible for, now I might have the story wrong, but I think I got it right. They're responsible for coming to Dr. Demento and presenting the idea, um, to do this, you know, these novelty songs that it, people love and are familiar with, uh, in a punk rock format. So... There's also Osaka Pop Star um, merchandise on the website for um, this album. And I'll be with you momentarily. The Demented Punk Records. This Demented Punk Records website has all the information and all the different. Um, conglomerations of what you can get and how you can get it. But I'll go ahead and go through some of these tracks here. Um, and this, like I said, this starts out like a radio show, a Dr. Demento radio show, which is awesome. It has Dr. Demento narrating between songs and introducing songs and giving a little bit of a history about the original versions uh, and some other things, a lot of other things that I didn't really know about. And the CD is the same way, but like I said, this has extra stuff on it, uh, which I'm not, like I said, I'm not real sure what it is, but this is produced by John Caffiero, um, and CoveredInPunk.com, DementedPunk.com, and DrDemento.com is the websites. Um, but it starts off with the Dr. Demento theme, and then it goes into, and these are punk versions, not the original versions, it goes into uh, Fish Heads. Uh, then Garbage Man, Shaving Cream, uh, you got Surfing Bird on here, and Rat Fink, uh, It's a Gas, you got the Batman theme, um, Eat It, um, Menomina, and then, uh, Telephone Man, Punk Rock Girl, the Monster Mash, there's so much cool stuff on here, uh, and I guess... There's a song on here. I know it's on here. I just don't see it. I don't know if all of these are listed. But anyway, Dr. Demento. Dr. Demento, that's what this is. Um, Weird Al does a cover of Beat on the Brat on the um, on the album. And it's that's an exclusive. You can't get that anywhere else from what I remember reading about. So that's that's cool. I mean... If you like Weird Al, who doesn't like Weird Al? So that's all I have in this vinyl update. Um, just a few things, but a few awesome things that I got in, in this video and my previous video. Thanks for watching, and uh, check out my Facebook group, uh, Hernando's Vinyl Hideaway is the name of the, the, the group that coincides with this channel and uh i also have a cool and strange music magazine fan page group on facebook check that out if you're into it and we'll see you in the next vinyl update